How's it going? This is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Zero figure. So this is the front of the packaging. You got a nice illustration of the actual suit and then you get quite a small window for the figure inside. But you can see quite a bit of them still. And then down here you have some Bandai logos and then the name Ultraman. Moving on to the side. It's quite a simple blue color scheme with the explanation of figure arts down here. On the other side, you get a nice illustration of the figure itself along with his name. Let's hope the window carries on so you can see a bit more into the figure. And then the, co the color scheme continues to the top and to the bottom as well. And you get another illustration. And then the back shows some more pictures of the figure showing what he comes with and the kind of poses you can do. And then down here you just have some Japanese legal stuff. And to open the box you just simply open the flap on the side and then the figure just slides out like so. So firstly, here are in the instructions showing what the figure comes with and how to operate the accessories. Pretty self-explanatory. And then here we have the figure itself. You can see all the accessories he comes with. And then to open, you just simply lift off the lid. And here we have the figure still in its packaging. So here we have the figure itself. And there's definitely a lot of detail on this figure. The sculpt is very nice. Very accurate to how he looks in the show. And then you can see the metallic silver that's across the red and blue body. And then the silver carries on down to his legs. And then carries on down to his arms as well. And then of course it carries on to his head. Just overall a very nice metallic look to it. And you can see all the sculpting as well for the armour. And they're all individually painted. And from what I can tell, all the paint job is very clean and tidy. There are no flaws from what I can tell. And then close look at their face. Definitely captures the look of Ultraman Zero. Looks exactly like he does in the show. And then the eyes themselves are translucent plastic as well, which adds a nice finish to it. And the part on the forehead is also translucent. And even down on the chest, you got the timer, which is also translucent and has some detail inside. There's very nice attention to detail. Very nice sculpt overall. So for articulation, the neck is on a double board joint. So you can look down that much, which is a lot. Up that much is quite a bit but it is a bit restricted due to the sculpt in the back but it is engineered in a way so that it tucks underneath when he looks up so that's very cool you can tilt his head side to side and also turn as well so a lot of range of motion there the shoulder itself is on a ball joint that's connected onto a butterfly joint so you can move his arm all the way around like that and then the arm can come out to the side as well. Which is great for some of the poses. And then it's on a hinge as well. So you can bring his arm out. And this piece here is actually on a swivel. So you can move that about. To not limit the range of motion too much. And then you can also bring his arm forward and back and then swivel as well but due to the sculpt it is a bit restricted but it should be okay for the most part double jointed elbows 
quite a range of motion. And then ball jointed wrists. So you can move them about however you like. And then the torso, you have a double ball joint as well. Oop. That easily popped out. It's not too loose, it's overall fine. But um, yeah, look back to the torso, it's on a double ball joint, so you can lean forward about that much, which isn't a whole lot. But it should be enough for most poses. And you lean back that much, quite a bit more than going forward. And again, the way this is sculpted, it tucks in when you pose, so that's cool engineering. You can do them side to side and also twist as well. For the hips, we have a newer style hip joint, so rather than pulling down, it's just on a hinge. So you can kick far about that much, which is quite a bit, and then kick forward and back. However, I will say that the way it's sculpted, because this piece is hard plastic, when you do move about the leg, it does tend to catch on onto the thigh. And then the more you pose it, it kind of causes a bit of damage to the side. So I'll be very careful if you do get this figure, then be careful of that issue. But yeah, then he's got a swivel here as well. So you can move that about. And then double jointed knees. And then the way it's sculpted it looks very natural as well. And then ball jointed ankles and go back that much, forward about that much. You can tilt it side to side and also a swivel. And then he's got the toe hinge. So yeah, that's the figure itself. Pretty good range of motion in his articulation. But like I already mentioned, he is a bit restricted in the torso going forward. And keep in mind to be careful with the hip joints because they do tend to rub on the thigh. Yeah, that's the figure itself. Let's have a take a look at the accessories. So for accessories, the figure comes with two fists, which come on default in the figure in the packaging. Comes with one posing hand for his right hand. Another posing hand for his right hand. And it comes with two chopping hands. Very well sculpted. A posing hand for his left hand. Two open hands. Two hands to hold his weapons. And then two more other hands to hold his weapons. And these are, are more of an angle. And he comes with an uh, interchangeable head without the sluggers on his head. So you can see the difference there. And again, like the default head, it's very well sculpted with all the translucent parts as well. One of, one of his weapons combined. Very nice sculpt, very metallic and it's silver as well. Interchangeable chest piece with his sluggers attached. And to operate that, you just simply pull this off and then replace it with this one. An interchangeable timer with the red translucent piece instead. Two sluggers. And finally, uh, interchangeable forearm piece with the bracelet on. And again, you can see the nice translucent piece in there. Very nice sculpt. So my final thoughts are, if you're a huge fan of this character, or the show it's served, and I highly recommend getting this figure. It's a very nice sculpt, very nice paintwork, comes with a lot of accessories and is a very accurate representation of the character. And he is just a standard release in the figure arts line, so he isn't too expensive at the moment. 
But yeah, that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Thank you.